Yes, there is Backwoods Billy. Come to people Delmarva Easter Shore. Remember to click, like, and subscribe. Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews on YouTube. Check me out on Twitter at Backwoods Billy CBR. Coming to you about St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. That's party. There's the Irish flag, green, white, and red. Guinness Draft, the original craft beer for a fact. It's the first beer, it's ever craft beer. This is drank by more celebrities than any other beer in the world. It's also the number one rated beer amongst all beers out there. So it's kind of interesting. Um, Untapped is a 3.8. Um, rate beer gives it 3.6. And Beer Advocate gives it 3.4. So it's sort of in, be in between those things as those ratings for it. I believe I'm correct on that. Um, anywhere between 4.1 to 4.3 IBUs. Um, I was getting, uh, ABV. IBUs is 40. 4.1 to 4.3 ABV. This is Guinness Draft. So it's an interesting, got the little harp on the back, and then it was originally established in 1759. This is a nitrogen charge draft, and a lot of times you can put a nitrogen directly in there. Now, according to them, you pour it like a regular beer that you poured in here, and then you wait two minutes, and then you top it off. And it can also be drank straight from the bottle. They were the original ones to make the can widget, the little uh, circle thing you have, and they have a wedge for the bottle that allows the bottle to be carbonated. You want that now, cool new glass out too? Yes, yeah, my new glass. They got a new glass, got a little harp shape actually carved into it. I like to get one if you're listening, Glennis. My email's on there. Just get me that little new glass. It says Guinness on it. But um, nice finger and a half head, can. Very densely packed. There are a few fish eye bubbles looking at you. Um, it appears to be jet black, but technically, if you look at it in the light and hold it up, it's more of a ruby red. You can see it more like the color of root beer. And that's just the way they roast their malt. Most stouts have the darker roasted malts in it. Um, and it ha the hops are going to be more earthy coming from Ireland. This actually is on, in the Queen's Buckingham Palace, she requires this to be on tap at all times, ready to run fully stocked for any type of party they could possibly have. So that's what I thought was really cool. They're anywhere between about $2 to about $5 a bottle, depending where you buy them at, a little bit $2. This is, um, the nice caps is, you know, enjoy safely, use an opener. And I um I brought this out, this green, I didn't remember the lobster out, but my wife got this one. The dog said she's a traitor, bam, bam. It's a well, cat. Well, if they'd have had a doggy one, I've got a doggy well, one. Well, we, we got another cat, you know, from the wander, so I dropped it off in, on our property. So we have three feral, now we have four feral cats that we feed. Um, anyway, this is, um. A little bottle opener so it's got the regular opener it's got the little suction cup for a twist off and it's got the little thing here for the beer tab and also right here for the beer tab so it's kind of a little useful tool i thought that was kind of cool i got my little solar dancers and my little irish little leprechaun necklace here with a little um shamrock and i got my shamrock hat you see i wear green all the time because i have green eyes so i, I have, have to worry about it. i don't have to worry about that yeah. look at it now that looks just like when you pour this you when the waves crash with the ocean and you see it, it just swirling and swirling and swirling, and then it starts to calm down as it rolls in and comes back and you back out. There's more of this that you see with this. And kind of, I, I love that. You get rich chocolate. I get vanilla notes to this. You also get um, fruity notes to this, which could be the yeast. This is the original yeast stream, so they actually save it and keep reusing the yeast over and over again and reculture pieces of it. So it's from the original strain from the first thread. Established in 1759. On a stout, a lighter body style, creamy. Uh, you get like coffee notes to this and it's sweet and slightly fruity. You get like raisin, um, dark fruits in here, like uh, cherry. Uh, slight berry notes to this, and you get um, a bittering note, and then it's followed by like a vanilla note, and then you get the coffee again. So there is a little bit of chocolate, but it's faint. And you're in the berries, the berry and the cherry are very faint, but they're there. It's also creamy, even though it's light body for a stout, which still be like a medium body beer. It's got a creamy texture, and the nitrogen is going to make it have um, a heavier body feel, so that's why it's really like a medium body, but for a stout, it's a light body.
And Guinness was the first one to do the nitrogen, the first ones to have the nitrogen ball, to have that in there, and the first ones to do the nitrogen in the um, bottle. If you have the tap, it's got a special disc, the way the disc card allowed the nitrogen to flow. Then a lot of things. Also, the Guinness Book of World Records was done by Guinness because of the fact of all the barroom brawls in Ireland. I'm part Irish. It's true. I gotta like to fight someone's gonna slap in the face every now and then. Um, anyway, uh, in order to stop the um, the brawling, they came out with the Guinness Book of World Records like a trivia thing to settle arguments between people, and it became, it took off, became famous. It's starting to rain here. My little shamrock guys are unhappy, my little leprechauns. It's a backwards Billy, two thumbs up. This stout will pair well with, you know, a hearty stew, corned beef and cabbage if you want to do that. Uh, chocolate, like a nice chocolate dessert would pair well with this. Um, hamburgers would pair well with this. It's a backwards Billy, two thumbs up. Also, game meats would pair well. It's a backwards Billy, two thumbs up on a Guinness draft stout. This is the best beer in the world, guys. Happy St. Patty's Day. And to all my Irish friends, Aaron Grubra. Top of the morning, dude. We're in the area. There's a lot of Irish people, too. So, descendants. Have a good day.